Hi, my name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and this is not where I usually shoot my intro outros, but my schedule has been so busy that I could not find time to shoot at home, so this is what you're getting today. If you're new to this channel, this is a series where I try a whole bunch of vegan food and then let you know at the end if they're, you know, worth getting or not. Yeah, it's a compilation of taste tests. I hope you like that kind of stuff. So this is all the new vegan stuff that I got to try in March. Yep, in March. For those of you guys looking forward to this video, I have two disappointments. Let's get them over with straight off the bat. The first one is the Bonza White Cheddar is going to be in the next video. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm finally finding my groove again, so give me a second and YouTube will be a bit more regular again soon. The second disappointment is the lint will also be in the next video. Again, I'm so sorry. <laughs> But I still hope that it's an entertaining video overall and you still gain some good knowledge from it. Uh, but yeah, let's just hop right in. Hey guys, all right, this is gonna be a little interesting, a little interesting taste test. Um, we're taste testing a ramen that I was sent like two months ago, a month and a half ago. Well, by the time you watch it, it'll be two months. Um, I don't know the brand name because I can't read, but it's it looks good. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. Okay, this is gonna be a little interesting. So it comes with like two things of noodles. It comes with like this sauce, but also a red sauce and a silver sauce. And I'm not quite sure what's the difference, but I'm only gonna use one of them today. And then I'll try to use one, a different one, another day, right? Okay, now here's what's complicated. I'm at work and I don't think this is an instant ramen, but I'm still gonna try to make it in the microwave. I think there's a bowl that I can use. All right, so we're gonna fill this with water and try to cook these definitely not instant noodles in the microwave. Wish me luck. I microwaved this for four minutes and now I'm putting in these noodles. Maybe I need to break them. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna do that. No, I think I'm just gonna shove them in and then shove them in again in a few minutes. I'm gonna put it back in the micro- Ooh, I have to do this with two hands. I'm gonna put this back in the microwave for a few more minutes. It is not done, but look. We're getting there. Let's do another two minutes. Okay, it, it's cooked. Now, I brought, I just literally threw these things in my bag. I have a bit of frozen broccoli that I'm gonna throw in there. And I have a tofu chunk that I'm gonna chop up and throw in there. It's not gonna be pretty, but it's gonna be sustenance. Broccoli, tofu, and we'll do one more minute. Okay, now we add the miso looking packet. Oh, that looks good. And I decided to go with the silver packet. It looks like a toasty oil. Maybe we'll try the red packet another time. I don't know if this was supposed to be one serving because it's huge, but it smells really good. And I had to add the extra stuff to it because you know, needed more vegetable and protein if I was gonna eat it for dinner, which I am because I'm working late today. And it smells so good. It smells so good. It smells so good. Oh my god. Yes. That's freaking delicious. Now, it would be so much better if I had like better toppings than raw tofu and frozen broccoli, of course. But considering that's all I have and it still tastes delicious. Mm. Thank you so much for sending this. It's amazing, and it definitely saved my night considering I didn't have time to meal prep. I mean, I would definitely get this again, and I look forward to trying it again with the spicy packet. Hey guys, we're trying another ready meal. This time, it's not like a frozen one, it's like a really healthy one, which maybe it's downfall, but we'll, we'll see. For those of you who live in New York-ish area, you might have heard of like Macro Vegetarian. They have things that they sell in health food stores and supermarkets and stuff like that. And they sell a lot of like noodles and stuff, but I got a soup, broccoli cauliflower soup, and I grabbed that and some bread to eat at work today. And see, macro vegetarian's usual downfall is that the ingredients are too clean and there's not enough seasonings. But I didn't have any time to meal prep this week, so I grabbed the soup. It was $5, so it better be good. I'm mixing it right now. The ingredients are like really healthy. No preservatives, vegan kosher, and made in a solar powered facility in New Jersey. Ingredients are water, potato, broccoli, cauliflower, onions, sunflower oil, garlic, yeast extract, sea salt, dill. 
and everything is organic or non-GMO. So, mm. you know what? It just tastes like blendy vegetable soup. It's not bad. Maybe I'd put something spicy in it. You know what? I would get it again. Um, it's not like amazing, but it's super healthy and it's available. So, I'd do it. Hey, so my grandfather passed away today. Um, I'm at the airport. I think they're doing some sort of construction back there. I'm on a super last minute flight to North Carolina to be with my mother and my grandmother um, for a couple days. And I'm just, I'm early to my flight. Um, and I grabbed the drink and I was like, you know, y'all are my friends. Why not hang out with you for a minute? And let's do a little taste test. I think this is probiotic drink, not like a kombucha, but kind of from Chobani. I got the pineapple flavor because I have a stomach ache and I'm thinking maybe probiotic something would make me feel better. Cheers. So it smells a little not great, but it's very refreshing. It's like the freshness of pineapple with very slight carbonation. And a slight tang of yogurt, but only a little. I really like it, although I don't think I'll buy it very often. It was very expensive. I just kind of splurged on it. It was like $8 for this one little bottle. Hope it makes my stomach feel better. <laughs> Cheers. Hey, okay, so I'm at work as always, um, and I didn't have time to meal prep as usual. Um, so I got this sandwich from the grocery store. It's from Alpha Foods. Alpha Foods is almost always a hit. They, they, do, they do good stuff, they really do. So this is a meatless sausage, plant-based egg and cheese uh, sandwich. It looks like there's just egg in it, although I don't know, because it doesn't say on the con container. Not on the container. Oh, it does say made with Violife cheese though, and Violife does good cheese. So it doesn't say what kind of egg. I'm pretty confident saying that it's just egg because it says it's made with mung beans. Um, and it also just looks like just egg. Anyway, so it's a pretty small sandwich. It's just a little English muffin type thing, but it looks pretty good. I don't know. You know, I think it's pretty good. Before I try it, I just want to make a comment. Um, I have been breaking out pretty badly the past two months or so. I don't want advice. I know what's going on with my body. Um, and me and my doctor are working to fix it. So, no, I, I don't need whatever thing you're gonna suggest to me. I'm okay, I really promise. Acne is not the worst thing in the world to have. Cheers. Mmm, mmm, I like it. It tastes like peppery and, and sausagey and, and egg and cheesy, like literally what you expect it to taste like. Would definitely get again if I needed a quick sandwich. Hey guys, I want to show you something really interesting I found in Trader Joe's. I think this has been around for a little while, but I've never tried it before. And I saw it for the first time when I was in Charlotte with my family. Tahine pineapple? Look, look how encrusted these pineapples are. I, as soon as I saw this, I was so excited. I looked at the ingredients. It's basically just some dried pineapple and tahine and sugar. Oh, oh, it smells so good. Let me show you one of these. It looks like it looks like a glittery scrunchie, but it's like a whole slice of dried pineapple. It's chewy dried. It's not crunchy dried. It's so good, but only if you like like spicy fruit things. You know, this is one of the neater Trader Joe things that I've had recently. Speaking of, I've been meaning to go for ages. I just haven't had the time. I'm hoping I find time sometime this month. Yummy. 
hey, I'm at work, so I have to be like super, super quick, but I got a care package from Nina in Poland, and I just really wanted to go through it, and I didn't want to go through it without you guys, so here you go. Don't mind the echo. I'm in like a spare little conference room, and I'm so pumped because the first thing I thought I saw was fish, tuna, tartar, roslini, zitofu. I, I don't know what this is. I have zero clue what this is. This looks exciting because it looks like chocolate and crackers. I can't read any of the words on it, but I see chocolate, you know? And they feel hard, so chocolate crackers, question mark. Chocolate waffles. You know me. This is exciting. Chocolate coconut waffles. Hazelnut, chocolate, coconut. I have no idea. And then we have little dinosaur chips. Okay, look, look at the little dinosaur right there. I'm so pumped for these. Thank you. And then we have, okay, I see raspberry, I see cashew, I see raisin. Don't know what that says, but I'll give it a try. Mini bataniki, bataniki, mini bataniki. Cute. And then we have sour gummies. Trolley, <gasps> trolley, trolley, trolley. This brand has no vegan options in the US. They need to get their shit together over here. Uh, chocolate caramel with salt. I love caramel and chocolate together. And lastly, we have like another gummy, but these are like fluffy cloud type gummies. They look like little ice creams. So, mm. I was gonna try some, but I was like, no, you're at work, Rebecca. Go get your work done. We will try some of these together later. Thank you so much again. So, I just spent the whole day setting up a booth at Javits Center for a jewelry manufacturing show, and I'm absolutely exhausted. Just got back to the factory, and I have to say, the security guards at Javits are a pain in the ass. They're like on a power trip or something. They're so annoying. Anyway, the booth looks amazing. I'm really happy with myself. So I'm back and I want to try. Oh, I feel like this matches me. I wanna try this treat. It's a gingerbread covered in chocolate. Oh my God, it looks so good. I will eat this whole thing. Oh, they're so cute. I thought they were gonna be bigger than this. They're so cute, they're so tiny. They look like little fluffy pillows of chocolate. Uh, should I try to pronounce it? It says, Tazugunga. Original recipe. Kat Katar Sunki. Sorry. Uh, Katar Katar Sunki. I don't know. But it smells spiced and chocolatey. Woo! It's soft. Why do I think this is gonna be like crunchy? Come on, focus. There you go. It's soft. This tastes like Christmas. Mmm. This is great after a long day. Mmm. Thank you. I'm in the airport. My flight was just delayed an hour. And I figured why not show you two of the gummies that I got in that like package before. Uh oh. Might have opened in my backpack. Oh, this one definitely. This one definitely opened in my backpack. I mean, my backpack is clean enough. The one that opened up all over my bag was the sour one. It's trolley dinosaur. We're delayed till 7 p.m. And Roberto and I had a few of these already. They're pretty good. What do you rate these sour dinosaurs? Like an eight. Yeah, they're pretty good. And then these are the other gummies that they sent. I realize these gummies are more popular in like, Europe and stuff. They're like foamy. If you're in the Air, please check your gate number 30 for passport verification prior to boarding. Our first year in Alaska, prior to pool. It's like if a marshmallow and a gummy collided. It's pretty good. They're very like light and fruity. I like them both. I think maybe this one I like a little more. But yeah, that's all. And we gotta wait in the airport for an hour. Bye. I have been working a lot lately, so I haven't had a lot of time to meal prep. So I've been buying a lot of like instant foods and I don't think I've ever like officially reviewed this one. I don't remember if I've even ever tried it. So 
We're gonna try it together. It's Annie Chung's Japanese style udon soup bowl. And I think you can just like cook the whole thing in the microwave. Empty soup base, blah, 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 microwave, blah, blah. Yep, so we're gonna pop this in the microwave and I'm having it for lunch. It's like 4 p.m., but I've had a busy day. You like put these little sauce packets in here and then you add water and then you microwave it and should have soup. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be back with the finished product. Okay, it's done. First note is it says microwave for two minutes, but I definitely needed three. It doesn't smell very strong, but it does smell pretty good. And this is what it, ooh, you saw me almost spill, huh? This is what it looks like. It looks like very dark, but noodles are right there. Maybe I overdid the noodles. Okay, maybe two and a half minutes, okay? That's my mom's flip flops. I have thoughts. Flavor, hella mild. Very mild flavor. It tastes like when you get Chinese food or like hibachi, that little mushroom oniony soup they give you to hold you over for a few minutes. The noodles are fat and yummy, but it's, yeah, very mild. So I think if I was bringing this in for meal prep a different day, I would bring some stuff to throw in it if I had time. But it is yummy. This is the kind of soup I would eat if I had a stomach ache. I wish it had more flavor, but I would get it again in a pinch. Yes, that's all, goodbye. That's all I have for today. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I put my Instagram right here. And that is all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye. Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Lucia, Alex Creates, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Abigail, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, LT, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, Adrian, Susan, and Trudy. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!